We talk about how Bai Ba Shan and Wu Ziming went to the police dormitory to seize guns, killed two police officers in succession, and took out the guns in less than a minute. After leaving the battalion headquarters, Wu Ziming went to get the motorcycle, which was hidden on the roadside just one meter away. Wu Ziming and Bai Ba Shan quickly left the scene. On August 8, at 2050, C.I. Xingguan, the deputy head of the Shihizi Criminal Police Brigade, received a call from the city's 110 command center. Policeman Jiang Yubin and security guard Shi Chunyong from the 149th Division Fields Police Station were shot dead. The 149th Division requested the City Public Security Bureau to quickly send personnel to the scene. Two police officers were killed simultaneously a first in Shihizi and an unprecedented event in the autonomous region. An Anqing quickly reported to the core public security bureau, and a temporary command post was swiftly established by the autonomous region public security department. After seven days of investigation involving 2,953 people and 25 suspicious leads, there was no progress in the case. When the 8.8 .8 case occurred, People did not immediately associate it with the 7.5 case, they were not on the same level and had significant differences. However, during the inspection and technical examination, an important clue caught the eye of the technicians. The eggshell batch numbers at the 8.8 .8 crime scene and the 7.5 crime scene were identical, both 75 to 81. Was this a coincidence? Technicians conducted a comparative analysis overnight and quickly reached a conclusion. The result confirmed that the bullets from both cases came from the same rifle, a significant breakthrough. It not only resolved the classification issue of the 7.5 case but also provided more convenience for the investigation of the 8.8 .8 case. On August 14th, the command post held another reconnaissance meeting and decided to merge the 7.5 attack on the 147th Division's original arsenal with the 8.8 .8 case of killing police officers and seizing guns. According to the instructions of the investigation command post, the subordinate departments were reorganized into five major groups, technical group, investigation group, gun inspection and sampling group, filing group, and material group. On August 16, Temporary worker Li Hua from the 147th Division found a green plastic notebook while cleaning behind the classroom building of the 147th Division's first middle school. He discovered it was Jiang Yubin's police duty certificate, with Jiang Yubin's photo attached. Li Hua immediately handed Jiang Yubin's duty certificate to the 147th Division's dispatching command post. After receiving the report, they promptly sent someone to investigate Jiang Yubin's wife, Niu Xiaohong. Niu Xiaohong said that Jiang Yubin did not have the habit of bringing the duty certificate home. Moreover, when Jiang Yubin went to work or returned home, he did not pass through the entrance gate. It was impossible for him to throw the duty certificate in that place, and his duty certificate would not end up in the garbage pit behind the teaching building. Based on the above circumstances, the police focused on the 147th Division field. While the regional police intensified their investigation into the 7.5 and 8.8 .8 cases, Bai Baoshan and Wu Ziming had already arrived in Yurumki on August 14. According to the routine, Bai Baoshan had previously selected a secret location within the Xinjiang University campus adjacent to the border hotel. On the same day, they dug a pit to bury the gun and money. The location of the pit was approximately 700 meters from the back wall of the border hotel, and it was rarely visited by people. Bai Baoshan chose a spot within the woods, marked it with a cloth strip tied to nearby branches, and returned to the 147th Division field that night. On August 18, Bai Baoshan and Wu Ziming returned to the border hotel, carrying a Type 81 automatic rifle and a Type 54 pistol. As per the opening date of the Yurumki Foreign Trade and Economic Negotiation Fair approaching, the border hotel appeared exceptionally lively. On that day, since Bai Baoshan and Wu Ziming arrived late, the border hotel was about to close, and they did not find a suitable target. After hiding the firearms, both of them registered using Wu Ziming's ID and stayed at the nearby railway hospital guesthouse. 
On the morning of August 19th, before the border hotel opened, Bai Baoshan and Wu Ziming arrived. They first loaded the guns with ammunition. Bai Baoshan then placed the automatic rifle in a bag and put the pistol in his pocket. The two retreated to the entrance of the border hotel, waiting for an opportunity. After about 20 minutes, an older person and a younger person carrying bags approached the Russian style restaurant, crouching under a fan base. They placed the bags on the ground and began counting money as if no one else was around. The older person had a red backpack containing about 500,000 yuan in cash, and the younger person had a slightly larger blue bag with what seemed like 700,000 to 800,000 yuan in cash. Bai Baoshan walked over with the gun in hand, aimed at the older person's back from a meter away, and fired the first shot. The old man was immediately killed, and Wu Ziming also fired a shot, but the bullet jammed and did not go off. The young person immediately picked up the blue bag and ran towards the Binjung Hotel. Bai Baoshan chased him while firing two more shots, knocking down the hotel security guard Xiao Ding. Wu Ziming then loaded the money bag onto his back. In the end, Bai Baoshan shot the young man carrying the blue bag dead in the gap between the cars in front of the east building, also shouldering the bag containing 800,000 yuan in cash. He turned around, holding the gun, and walked back. Having previously identified a strong opening, he escaped into the woods near Xinjiang University. Bai Baoshan buried both money bags and the clothes worn during the crime in the pit, then left the woods with the gun. Eventually, in a corridor filled with miscellaneous items, he buried the gun. After that, he arrived on the street, fleeing along the Santan Bay Road. From the moment Bai Baoshan fired the first shot until he reached the small woods, he covered a distance of 905 meters, taking 20 minutes. In total, he fired 14 shots killing seven people, injuring five, and robbing approximately 1.3 million yuan. After successfully robbing the border hotel, Bai Baoshan and Wu Ziming quickly returned to the 147th Division. According to Bai Baoshan's plan, this money could not be touched for now, at least they had to wait for a month before going to get it, or else they would be in great danger. However, Wu Ziming did not share the same opinion. Since returning to Shihizi on August 19, Wu Ziming constantly urged Bai Baoshan to go to Yurunki to withdraw the money, making Bai Baoshan feel that Wu Ziming was greedy and short-sighted. Bai Baoshan couldn't help but entertain thoughts of getting rid of Wu Ziming.